In this review, we're going to look at the Hasbro Pulse exclusive Shield Agent 2 pack. The Shield 2 packs come in a similar box to the other troop builders from Hasbro Pulse, just double the size, like literally double the size on width. I got the Hellfire Club guard here, and it is the same width as two of these boxes. Same depth. Great looking art on the front of the box. It wraps around to the sides. Got the shield logo, shield agent two pack. Warning, choking hazard, small parts. Plastic free packaging. You'll see that here in a second too inside the box. You got your more warnings, your side onion. On the back, we got the shield logo, agent two pack. More warnings, legal ease. Marvel logo on top. Now with the package, let's get these out. A little warning slip comes with all the stuff. Accessories in a little wax paper baggie. One shield agent. Two shield agents. As you can see with the new plastic free packaging, the figures come in these like little paper, wax paper style bags. Pardon the noise, I know it crinkles on the microphone. Like with the Hellfire Guard, they come in plastic bags. But these have these little white baggies. Let's get these out. Uh, with the shield agents out of the packaging, one comes with a red visor helmet, another one with a silver visor. Before we take a look at the figures, let's look at the accessories. First up, let's look at the new head sculpts. All three of these new head sculpts look really good. I love the sculpt and the paintwork. Paint's really clean. The eyes are painted really well. Uh, the lips are a different color. Really nice looking detail in these. So much better than like the way they used to be with the flat colors with poorly painted eyes. <laughs> but these look really great. I like having alternate heads for my fi figures too. The, they make the display look a lot better. And we have alternate hands. We have two C-grip hands with horizontal hinges. We have two fists with horizontal hinges. We have a pointing hand with one finger with a vertical hinge. We have a pointing hand with two fingers with a horizontal hinge. And both the figures are packaged with trigger hands with vertical hinges. About time. This is so much better. <laughs> I'm glad we got vertical hinges for trigger hands. The C-grip ones would be like the horizontal you'd be used with the shotgun. You have one, the vertical hinge trigger hand here. Change it to a C-grip with the for the front grip. Since this is a hand, let's go ahead and look at the weapons. This is a shotgun sculpt we've seen a few times before. This one has no paint whatsoever. But nice if they paint the shells like they did on the previous releases. We have a futuristic gun that's got the magazine painted. And two futuristic shotguns. I think we first saw with the uh, Forge. And the pistols. I think also came with Forge. Now on to the figures. I bought two sets of these. And the other set was the exact same way when I got them out of the packaging. My legs are bold. You see the big curve on this one? That one's pretty extreme. Uh, I'm going to have to, re going to have to take some heat and straighten up the knees. Same with the hinges and the feet are super tight. This one didn't really get the bow in the legs, but the hinges are super tight. I'm going to stop the video for a second, and I'm going to go straighten this out, heat it up, and I'll be right back. Okay, with a little time with the hairdryer, I was able to get the legs straightened out and get the ankles freed up on all the versions of my shield agents I got. Taking a closer look at the figures, they look really nice. It's it's nothing really groundbreaking with these. It's the tried and true Bucky Cat mold. There is some new tooling I didn't notice. It may have, been, may have happened on the previous version of the Bucky Cap. I happened to notice it when I was comparing it with the older shield agent. They have new shoulders. These are new style shoulders. 
said it's probably happened on the previous version of uh, Bucket Cap, but I just haven't really paid attention. You see the hinge is visible on the older one. I was well, maybe notice that the shield logos are smaller, and the hinge is hidden more on the new style shoulders. I think the shoulders might be just a little bit bigger too. I don't put a bigger shield logo on the shoulders. And speaking of the shield logos, they're different colors as well. This one's uh, three colors: silver, black, and actually it's four colors: silver, black, blue, and red. And on the new one, it's actually got more detail on it. If you can see, it's actually got the entire name of the S.H.I.E.L.D. organization on to the logo. A lot crisper, sharper detail on that. On the helmets, you got the helmet heads. Same details, same sculpt. Just different paint. Less paint on the new ones. Uh, they just paint the mask part, the gas mask part black, and the visor red on this one, silver on the other. We got silver picked out details picked out on the older one. Looks really nice, a little added detail. I still like this still looks good. That looks add, adds a little bit more detail. Same way on the chest harness and the belt and the holster on the new one it's just plain white they did paint the gun and the buckles of course on the old ones they painted all the buttons the buckles the gun and i had applied a wash to all the those accessories they have different forearms as well this one's the old one is using the bucky cap forearms straight up off the old bucky cap figure where you got the uh, sculpted glove cuff there. On the new one, they use the bare forearm with this paint, like the glove detail. And the blues are different. It's a little more saturated blue on this one. This one's almost like a blue gray. This one's, this one's more like a traditional dark blue. So we got basically three different colors of shield agents now. And when you compare it with, even with bringing in the old one from the old two packs. And with the really old one, it is even more gray. So we got three different shades of blue for shield agents. Now on the old one too, they got the shield logo on the bicep because the way there's made the hinges visible throughout. There's no way to really print anything on that shoulder without breaking the sculpt anytime you move it. We've mentioned the new shoulders. Let's see how different the range articulation is in those. On the old one, you can kick the shoulders up this far. It goes up way high. I assume the new one's going to be restricted with that sculpt. Well, there's not much difference there. It does the old one does kick up a little higher. You're going to run into that stop. It looks like you got more clearance though when the arms are up. Uh, that's about the same. The gap between the top of the shoulder to the chest cavity, shoulder cavity. That's the only difference in the parts I can see. Let's go ahead and look at the rest of the articulation. It's buggy caps. We've all seen this before. We've got the disc hinge ball on a disc hinge for the neck. And I just yanked that one out. Okay, well, I was just checking the articulation on this one just because it's tried and true bucky. I didn't know anything about it, about it. I got a defect on this one. You see this? There's a big old gap. Where it's, I yanked this whole disc hinge out when I was trying to pop the head off to show off the disc hinge. So I'm going to have to try to put a little dab of glue in there and put it in a vise, try to push it together, but it's not even wanting to budge. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do anything with that. Just stick the helmet on and leave it. So that'd be fine for that one. Just something to be mindful to look out for. I'm sure it's just on my copy. Hopefully it's not widespread because my other three are fine. It's just this one. Anyway, back to articulation. I already looked at the shoulders, disc and shoulders. They kick up to here. Full 360. Bicep rotation. Double jointed elbows. A little stiff. Get you up to here. Disc and wrist. Like these are vertical hinges for the trigger hands, which is great. 
Ab crunch. Moves well. And waist twist. Ball joint and hips kick out this far. Thigh rotation. Double joint knees get you up this far. Hinged ankles. So every one of mine were stuck out of the packaging. I had to take blow dryer, get them freed up first. And if you run into stuck joints, do not try to force them with just brute force. All that's going to end up doing a lot of times is end up shearing the peg off the hinge. Just take a little bit of heat, take some time, work it back and forth. Ankle pivots. That's bucky cap, so we didn't really knew what to expect with, uh, with articulation. Let's go ahead and bring in the rest of the troops. All in all, I'm really happy with these shield two packs. Love the new head sculpts, unmasked head sculpts, add some, some new characters to the shelves. Plus, with the helmeted heads, you can just keep troop building. I like troop builders. We don't seem to get enough good good guy troop builders. What in Hasbro Pulse, we had Hydra Soldiers, the AIM, the Hellfire Club, Scrolls, and the Shield 2-packs. I'm um, hoping we get some more troop builders like this. I like the slim profile packaging. Save on that. Cuts cost. Because I really don't care about the boxes. I want the figures. These are great, for, especially for people that's come in late, start collecting Legends. Now these older ones are kind of hard to get. I think these came with the Mandroid Build-A-Figure Wave. I didn't see those out too too often in the stores. I saw them at the local Target. But I don't think I ever saw that Wave at Walmart. I'm sure, I don't think it was exclusive, but... The, of course, I'm saying didn't see anything at Walmart. So not really a indicative of how actually things are because the local Walmart here doesn't really stock stuff really well. <laughs> but anyway, if you're looking to get some troop builders, grab these. I think these are back up on pre-order or in stock or on Hasbro Pulse. I'll put a link down below. So if you're looking to get these, grab them. Thank you for taking the time to watch the review. Like, share, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch y'all next time.